Hi friends! Today we're going to be Orangutan is Scared. It's one of our new favorite story and Kiana wants us to read it over and over and over again. So we hope you enjoy it. And this is written by Sophie Holmvist and Catherine Sigrid Steinberg. Orangutan can't sleep. She's lying in her tree, thinking. Hmm. She can't help thinking about dangerous things of it. Things like strange sounds in the dark and monsters with sharp teeth. But most of all, she's thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow is an important day because it's Orangutan's birthday. She's having a party down by the water hole with all her friends. When Orangutan thinks about her party, she feels excited and with happy butterflies in her tummy. Suddenly, she hears a strange noise. The butterflies stop. And instead, she feels a knot in her tummy. She curls up and pulls the palm leaf up to her nose. She doesn't want to be scared, but she can't help it. The next morning, Orangutan hmm, is woken up by a little bird singing a song on a branch above her. Happy birthday, dear Orangutan. Happy birthday to you! It twitters happily. Thank you, answers Orangutan. But I'm not sure it's worth celebrating someone who's as scared as I am. She sighs oh, deeply and shuffles over to the river to have her morning wash. Tiger is down by the water, wrinkling her nose and clearly a bit irritated. How annoying! The log that's usually here has got washed away. Now I can't get to the other side, she growls. I can swim over and bring it back, says Orangutan. I'm having a wash anyway. And she jumps into the cold, swirling water. When the log is back in place, Tiger carefully walks over to the other side. Orangutan watches her friend with admiration. I wish I was as brave as Tiger. Then I'd never lie awake at night being scared. She thinks as she walks on. She doesn't notice two dark eyes watching from watching her from the top of the tree. Hmm, who's hiding in there? Who's hiding in the tree? A bit further into the jungle, she meets another friend. Elephant. He's standing on a big rock, flapping his ears wildly. It's enormous! With big sharp teeth, a monster, he shrieks, flapping his ears even more. A monster? Where? Where? Who? Asks Orangutan, looking around in surprise. It's a mouse, trumpets Elephant, worriedly pointing with his trunk. And there is a mouse, a scared little baby mouse, hiding in the grass, trembling with fear. Oh, we can see the little tiny mouse there. Who's more scary? You think Little Mousy is more scared or Elephant is more scared? Hmm. Orangutan goes up to the Little Mouse and carefully scoops it up in her big hand. Please don't eat me, squeaks the Little Mouse. I've lost my brothers and sisters and now I can find my way home to our nest. It's by the big rock behind the green bush. Of course I'm not going to eat you, says Orangutan, and carries the little mouse home to its family. Thank you, squeak all the mice. Thank you, trumpets elephant, and carefully gets down off the rock. How odd that somebody so big could be scared of something so little, thinks Orangutan, and carries on through the jungle. She doesn't notice that someone's hiding in the bush. I wonder who's listening. Who's hiding behind the bushes? Do you see someone hiding behind the bushes? Hmm. When she gets to the bamboo, bamboo grove, she sees Panda waving from the top of the tree. Hey, come down and we can play hide and seek, Orangutan calls. Oh, I wish I could, Panda sighs. <sighs> I found this lovely climbing tree and I just had to climb it. There's such a wonderful view from up here, but I've forgotten how I got up. 
And now I'm too scared to climb back down again. Straight away, Orangutan swings up through the trees. She uses her long arms to climb all the way up to the top where Panda is. Carefully, she puts her friend on her back and helps him get down to the ground. Thank you, says Panda, feeling safe again. See you at the party later. Orangutan nods and waves to her friend. She doesn't notice that she almost trips over the tail of someone who's sunbathing in the warm grass and watching with interest. Hmm. I see a tail. Do you see a tail? I wonder who that could be. <gasps> Orangutan continues along the jungle path. She's thinking about her party tonight. She's so busy thinking that she doesn't notice the python slithering out of the bushes in front of her. Sss, watch where you're going, hissed the snake. You almost trod on me twice in one day as well. What a great way to start a friendship. Orangutan looks at Big Python with surprise. You see, I'm ter so terribly alone, Snake continues. All I want is a friend, somebody to be kind to. But as soon as the animals see me, they get scared. They think I'm horrible and dangerous. You're brave. I've seen that with my own eyes. You're brave enough to be my friend, Snake says confidently and looks at Orangutan. Looks like Snake wants a brave, brave friend. Do you think Orangutan is a brave friend? You think so? Me? Brave? I think you must be wrong, Orangutan sighs. <sighs> I'm scared of just about everything. I'm not even brave enough to fall asleep at night. Well, everyone is afraid of something, Snake, Snake replies. And by the way, you have to be scared to be brave. Wasn't it you who helped Tiger get across the river? And saved Elephant from the little mouse? And helped Panda down from the tree? I think you're just scared of being scared, says Snake firmly, flicking his tongue. Well, yes, maybe, says Orangutan, and straight away, she feels a bit happier and braver. And so the two animals become friends. Orangutan asks Snake if he wants to come to her birthday party. And he says he would love to. What a great way to become friends, isn't it? As night draws in, all the animals meet at the water hole for the party. Panda has put up some fruit, leaves, and flowers to decorate. Tiger has baked a tiger cake. An elephant plays a fanfare with his trumpet trunk. Everyone is happy and excited. When Orangutan arrives, everyone claps and cheers. Looks like a party to me. But when the animals see Snake, uh-oh, they're all terrified. Orangutan, look out! Squeaks the mouse. A snake! Trumpets elephant. It's okay, says Orangutan. This is my friend, Snake. He's not at all as dangerous as you think. He has tried to be friends with all of you. But you didn't notice because you were so busy being scared. Look at Panda. Doesn't he look so scared? So, so scared. All the animals are happy to have a new friend. And Snake is happy too. He does acrobatic tricks up in the trees. When he throws himself around like a lasso and makes funny squiggles with his tail, all the animals clap and cheer with delight. Thank goodness Orangutan was brave enough to talk to Snake, says Panda. I would never have dared. And now, I think we should give a big cheer for our brave birthday friend, Orangutan, says Tiger. And so they do. Hooray! When the party is finished, Orangutan and Snake make their way home through the dark jungle. Every now and then, they swing through the trees. When they get to their tree, Snake slitters up to the very highest branch. He uses his long tail to move the leaves that are blocking the sky. 
Now the moon and stars can shine down on the tree like little lights. And the two friends snuggle down under a big leaf. That night, Orangutan falls asleep with her new friend Snake. The stars twinkle and the moon shines in the dark night sky. The leaves rustle gently in the breeze. Every now and then, there's a strange noise. But Orangutan isn't scared. The noises don't sound scary when Snake is lying beside her. And of course, she's far too dizzy being happy. What a sweet, sweet ending. And that's the end of Orangutan is Scared. We hope you enjoyed this story because we sure do at our house. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.